What do you make of the uh, turnout so far for fans coming down and helping shovel out the stadium? We are uh, doing a great job out there. I mean, our fans have really responded. Um, we had a two o'clock call for the public and we had a line going out to our, uh, our gates from the stadium. So the call has been great. Fans have been re very responsive and we're really excited about uh, getting the job done for Sunday. Are you shocked to see the turnout? Shocked? No. I mean, Bill's Mafia, they come out. You know, we know that we need the help. I think they know that we need the help. I mean, there's no sugarcoating this. There's five plus, maybe six feet of snow in our stands right now, right? From before the last game until today. So there's, uh, you know, a boatload of snow everywhere. And, uh, you know, we need all the help we can get. So I don't think uh, we're surprised at all. You know, especially now when we have the time that we have. Usually the call for this type of thing is much, much better when there's not a driving ban and it's not midnight. So we don't have those things working against us uh, this week. So you're facing more snow to shovel out this time compared to when fans were trying to get in before Monday's game? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that was maybe two feet of snow, which is a lot to fall before your game overnight. So kudos to everyone to get that last playoff game in. Um, but when now we're looking at, you know, four more feet of snow that have fallen this entire week, you know, you got two feet out and now we're working on another two feet. And today we're getting another couple inches. So we're, uh, you know, we're still plugging away and making sure, you know, we get this stuff, uh, this the stadium ready and safe for the fans. What's the strategy once you get in there? A few of the stands are already cleared out, we saw, but there's still plenty of work to be done. Yeah, I mean, the good news is, you know, I'm definitely not telling you I feel, you know, great because the stadium has still got a lot of snow in there, right? Um, the good news on that, though, is that um, we're making a ton of progress and, and we do see light at the end of the tunnel. We should have the 100 level done tomorrow, which is great. The field will be absolutely ready for game day. And, um, and then the 300 level will finish that off hopefully tomorrow night. Going into Sunday, we're in really good shape. I mean, especially when you talk about where we were a week ago, you know, before the Pittsburgh game. So we'll be ready for fans and uh, we'll be ready for playing football against the Chiefs. How would Do you, you have rate? kind of a schedule in mind? Like, are you going to have to be shoveling overnight around the clock or is there like a time you'll stop today and start again tomorrow? Yeah, we're 24 seven. Yeah, we're not stopping. We haven't stopped literally since the end of the last game. Um, you know, this is hard to fathom, right? Like when we had the seven foot snowstorm uh, last year and we had the seven foot snowstorm in 14, those games moved out of town. You know, the good news here is the timing of this snow. We had two feet or so that fell before the last game. Miraculously, almost, we got that done and we played that game. And then now we have periodically, we've had a foot, a two foot, a two foot, couple inches, couple inches. It's a lot of snow and you had it up in a few days and, and, and with less than a week. Um, but had all of that happened Tuesday, Wednesday, we would not be playing this game. Right, this would have been moved like last time, um, but this is a totally different situation. We're able to mobilize all these people, all these contractors, the vendors, our fans. You know, we've been able to get all these people here. When you had those other blizzard-type storms, the, the seven-foot storms, nobody could come here. Right, they couldn't even get out of their house. So it's a lot different this time around. Um, but it's a you know, it's, it's a team effort. It's a community effort. Um, we are so lucky and thankful for Bill's Mafia coming out and helping us with the snow shoveling, but it's also the contractors and the vendors who have the skid skiers, the trucks, the dumps, the, 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 the bulldozers, they're moving snow everywhere, uh, opening up parking spaces for this weekend. So there's a lot of positive things happening for the game this weekend. How, How would you rate Bill's you Mafia that? shoveling? Like, are, would you hire maybe any of them? Are they pretty good? You know, I will be honest. I would say uh, Bill's Mafia. Uh, I'll give them. A, I'll give them a 9.9 .9 out of 10. The, the ones that are are true diehard Bills fans, they're having a great time. You know, we have the music on in the stadium. You know, they're really pumped up and they're getting stuff done. It's cold out there. You know, it's it's a tough tough uh, job, um, but they're excited and they're getting the job done for us. Uh, and they're doing a really, really, really good job for us. The contractors How far that are you that you're going to get every flake of snow out of there. Every flake, zero. Come on, every flake, come on. But five feet, six feet of snow, we're going to get every foot of snow out of here before this Sunday. You know, if it snows again, 
this week, today, tomorrow, the next day, after we've cleared the five, six feet of snow, there might be a couple inches lying around here and there. But um, I know I mentioned last week, one of our plans is that we brine our seats. You know, as long as the temperature is right, um, we'll go through and we have a, a, a great partner who brines our seats to salt solution that kind of turns any leftover snow into slush. So number one, it makes it safer. Number two, no snowballs. So we absolutely are a little bit afraid of any snowballs making their way to the field. You know, it's embarrassing for us as a team. It's embarrassing for our community. It's not what we're about as Bill's Mafia. You know, so we, we do dread that snowballs hit the field in the middle of the game or when there's a play happening. We want fans to get excited when they throw the snow up in the air, when we score a touchdown. By all means, that's fun. It looks great on TV. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're about, celebrating our team. But throwing snowballs on the field, hitting cameramen in the head, hitting, God forbid, you hit a player in the face, one of our players, one of their players, it doesn't matter. We can't have that happen. So that's, that's a thing that we are really focused on with the NFL this week. And hopefully our Bills Mafia fan base will uh, we'll behave on that front. Andy, is, there a <laughs> is there a threshold for fans that are coming? You know, you got a long line outside, are you gonna be working people through, or you know, is there an expectation or a guarantee that folks who come are gonna make it in to help? Oh yeah, we are not turning anybody away. Yeah, so even for folks that are waiting on that line, we're, we're getting them in and they're working. You know, if they've been waiting on line for half an hour, they're getting paid for that half hour. We just appreciate that they're out here and they're willing to help. Um, but we're not turning anybody away at, at all. That being said, we don't need more fans to show at this point. We have such a tremendous turnout that uh, we're making really good progress out there and we just don't want too many people to be out there where, you know, well, where do you want me? <laughs> or, uh, you know, so we're, we're in really good shape with the, with the turnout. So we appreciate the media getting the word out and, and our fan base coming out in, in such great numbers. So it doesn't sound like you need them to return tomorrow. It will just be your crews working on the stadium then? Yeah, so besides Bill's Mafia fan base, we have other labor crews that we've tapped into with our snow removal teams, contractors, uh, roofers that are, you know, maybe they're not doing roofs now, it's a winter, right? So now they can come in and they can help us shovel snow. And those groups are making a ton of progress as well. We also have volunteer groups. We have a volunteer group from m Bank from Highmark, they're tremendous. They're coming out tomorrow as well to help shovel some snow. And, you know, whatever's left over, if we get the job done early tomorrow or sometime tomorrow afternoon, believe me, there's plenty of snow out there that we can troubleshoot areas. We can go back to the second time and pick up that two or three inches that fell overnight as well. So again, it's all about safety for us. And if we can hit those areas two or three times at a, you know, between now and, and kickoff, we will definitely do that. Where's it Every going, the snow? Yeah, the snow, a lot of the snow is going into the ECC grass areas. So it's not taking up parking spaces, which is obviously ideal. We want to maximize every possible parking space uh, at the Buffalo Bills property, but also at ECC. You know, a lot of fans park across the street at our, at our partner's college there. And uh, their team have been great, very cooperative. We're all in this together type of thing, right? Um, it's a huge team effort. Collaboration is through the roof. So we're always talking all day long with Erie County, with ECC, with all our contractors and vendors. So we have a nice coordinated effort there to turn our piles into the grass area where nobody's parking. So all that, that snow is getting bulldozed into those grass areas and we're maximizing parking. We'll have over at least 1,200 parking spaces more this game than last game. And, uh, and that's gigantic, so we really need it. So I, know that, every storm, mean all... I know every storm presents a different challenge, but was there anything from last weekend that you guys learned or you're gonna adjust moving forward for just you know how you get ready for these games? Yeah, I mean, there's always something you can learn from the day before or from another project. So we met after the first storm this past Monday and talked through some of those you know, concerns and, and situations and said, hey, we're gonna have a, you know this crazy storm and, and snow coming this week. It looks like we could get another, you know, and I hated to say it, four to five feet. And we're all looking at each other going, oh my gosh, I'm not even awake yet from this last game. <laughs> and uh, so we end up, you know, talking through some of those challenges and working with Erie County and reaching out to a, a few of our 
uh, stadium contractors. Whereas, you know, in the past when we had these seven foot storms, nobody could help. You know, we're all trying to do our own thing and just bury our, unbury ourselves out of our, our own house. Um, but this was a different situation with the timing of the storm. We had two feet today. Okay, well, we got through that. Two more feet. Well, this is not fun, but we can still keep plugging. Another six inches, another foot. Well, we keep going here. So yeah, we did we did re you know revamp ourselves and kind of do a, a hot wash of the whole first storm from this weekend, and said what can we do now for the rest of the week to get through this because we got to play this game, we got to beat the Chiefs, and home field advantage is gigantic for us. Coach McDermott, I think he's five and one at home in the playoffs. We got to get that done. So we're in this with football too, you know. And we're constantly talking to our general manager Brandon Bean and Coach McDermott to make sure they're aware of everything going on and uh, they have a, a high comfort level about the playing surface and all that stuff too. The people in the parking lot, they were hired by the team? Like they're not just people showing up with equipment, right? Oh no, yeah, they are yeah. definitely working in concert with our stadium operations team and our grounds team. So yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a hired group. Going and, to forward, the stadium isn't leaving Orchard Park, it's not leaving the major snow ban. Do you think Calling Bills Mafia to shovel is the solution. Do you think snowblowers need to be the solution? Is this the plan years to come? Yeah, no, good question. I mean, we're always looking at all kinds of technology, right? We talk to Green Bay, we talk to Pittsburgh, we talk to New England. We're all friendly on the business side of the operation side of things. You know, we're not going to tell them our playbook, of course, but we're going to share best practices like we always do. And uh, same when we when we meet with the NFL at the NFL conferences, we're always talking about, hey, what works here for you guys with snow? What works here for you guys for snow? Usually, those cities are actually asking us because we're the ones who get seven feet of snow. <laughs> when is seven foot of snow falling in, in some of these other other places? But yeah, I mean, we look at snow blowers, shovelers, um, you know, equipment. What kind of different technologies can we use? You know, at the end of the day, you need people. You need people. Right? They got to they got to manage the technology. They got to run the tractors. They got to shovel the snow. In the new stadium, we're going to still have some snow removal. Um, but the good news, I think, in the new stadium is that there's going to be a lot of there'll be a little bit of overhang. A lot of the seats will be covered. There'll be a lot more uh, warming areas within the stadium to help melt snow. So there's a lot of positives about the new stadium. But absolutely, we're always looking at different technologies for us. That being said, with the new stadium, is it still on plan to have a heated field? Oh yeah, in the new stadium, for sure. Yes. Andy, you said 1,200 more. Is all parking expected to be available or unknown at this point? Unknown at this point. I think we're gonna be really close to, to all of it, but my stadium ops guys would be killing me if I said that right now. <laughs> um, no, I think we're, we're gonna be very close to, well, we're definitely gonna have more parking than last week, upwards of 1,200 spaces. So um, it's, a, it's probably plus or minus another few hundred if we're able to get all the piles out. But there's, there's a lot of snow. So I can't say, state that any, any better than, uh, or sugarcoat this thing. This is a monumental task in a short period of time. And uh, you know we don't have weather on our side. It's still 20 degrees out, nothing is melting. And anything that snows is more snow that we have to remove. Do you think you'll run that? shuttle again or ask fans to carpool just given the parking situation so the shuttle no we we changed the shuttle service again this game so last week's game what happened was our game day staff we couldn't shuttle them from Hamburg fairgrounds because the bus company couldn't <laughs> promise the drivers or the buses because of the crazy weather storm so we pivoted and we had all the game day staff park on property here and then on game day morning, Pittsburgh Steelers game day morning, we found out from first student and our, our partners there who've been great all season, hey, we can get you guys buses and drivers. And we're like, well, that's awesome, but we've already moved our staff here on property. So we said, hey, what can we do that might help the fans with the transportation? And then we contacted McKinley Mall. They were awesome and said, you know what? We can make this happen. If you wanna to try to make this work, we can, find another solution to help with parking fans. And we knew we were losing spaces because of the snow. So we figured, okay, and we knew we were losing the, the, the parking spaces because of the staff parking on site. So we rallied around uh, for a student and the sheriff 
and everybody else that helped at McKinley, and then we put that shuttle service in place. So that was really a last second, last minute, try to do everything you possibly can to help the situation, because we knew some fans that might show up, where am I parking, right? If they don't have a parking pass, and they don't show up and find a space in the neighborhoods, because the neighborhood lots are all buried under snow, where, did, where do I go? So, uh, so that's going away for this week, so that those spaces now go to the fans, and then the staff goes back to Hamburg Fairgrounds. So that helps a lot. To make sure we're reporting accurately, is there a meal this time, or was that an overnight thing? There's a meal all the time. Okay. There's always food and drinks for our snow shovelers. Yes, the entire time. Delaware North has been great with the food and beverage for all these people that are working. So there's no shortage of taking care of these folks um, and giving them a warming area to take a break and giving them some food and beverage. You know, some of them are working 12, 18 hour shifts. Like it's not a two hour, four hour window for a lot of these people. They're working here all day and some through the night. Do you have a rough idea of how many people showed up today? Hundreds. 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 Yeah. We were hopeful for 200 and we have probably at least double that, which is awesome. So yeah, it's been a great turnout. Yeah. We're really excited. Really happy about that. Who and picks the playlist? The playlist is a combination of, uh, no, that's our, I don't know, that's our broadcast team. And we just said play music. We've got some people that don't speak English that speak Spanish. So mix in some, uh, some Spanish music for our friends out there that are shoveling. And, uh, but it's a mixture of everything, yeah. <laughs> if I for, picked the playlist, it would be all 80s music. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Just for record, could you say and spell your first and last name and position? Uh, Andy Major, A-N-D-Y-M-A-J-O-R, uh, Vice President of Operations and Guest Experience. Have we gotten any word if uh, Taylor Swift will be coming? <laughs> you know, someone, I think, said that she's been to nine of Kansas City's games, so we expect her to be here somewhere, yeah.